I'm House Republican leader Tony McCombie. I represent the 89th district in Northwest Illinois. Thank you for coming today. I almost said this morning because it feels like morning. Uh, two days ago in a press conference to unveil the FY24 budget, the Democrat leaders said their agreed budget is balanced, fiscally responsible, and without gimmicks. However, Illinoisans will not be shocked to learn that not only did the leaders fail to meet their self-imposed deadlines, this $50.6 billion budget is one of the largest spends in Illinois history. Again, lacking transparency, containing zero structural reforms, and uses decade-old gimmicks. It is not balanced. Exploding Medicaid costs are blowing holes in the budget and are handled through fiscal maneuvers. Failed attempts to balance the budget on the backs of local governments through the Illinois Department of uh, Revenue's reallocation that shifts $700 million in PPRT away from our cities and villages. It does not include the funding for the unknown, significant unknowns like the AFSCME contract. This could be up to $300 million. The FY BIMP gives the governor uh, an increase uh, a tra to be able to transfer up to 8% when traditionally it was 4% to help with items like AFSCME costs. This budget is also loaded up for politicians. Imagine another raise, 5.5% pay raise, self-serving pork projects. Hardworking families will pay $430 million in new taxes because of the election year tax breaks on gas, groceries, and school, school supplies are gone. Our shared priorities, surprisingly, were not included. And our offers to work with Democrats were ignored. We cannot trust the majority party with more money when all they offer is so little in return to tangible benefits for Illinois families all around 102 counties that we represent. I will not put our support behind this budget today, or this evening, I should say. As leader of the House Republican Caucus, I will not stop working to bring about the change and balance that Illinois deserves. We are strong, we are determined, and we are right on the issues. We will not stop banging on closed doors. We have earned a meaningful place at the table, and our voices count.